Hey kids, welcome back to Victory Kids Online. I'm so glad that you could join us and I brought a new friend today. Thank you, Sino. Hello everyone, my name is Rachel and I'm so excited to be here with all of you today. Yep, we're as excited as Rachel is because we've got Word, Game, what else? We also have the joke of the week and so much more. Yep, kids, so buckle up your seatbelts and let's enjoy the rest of this episode. Woohoo! Hey friends, I'm so excited to share with you our memory verse for this month. Now, in this series, we're talking about Rise Up. That is our theme. And we are going to talk about how Jesus died on the cross and was risen back to life and what you can learn in and through that. Our memory verse is Romans 10 verse 9. So let's read up on the screen. If you declare with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord, and if you believe in your heart, that God raised Jesus from the dead, then you will be saved. Kids, that is the salvation message. That is all about of why we believe in Jesus, because He came to give us life. He came to reconcile us back to God. And what that means is, you know, in the Old Testament, there was a massive temple, the Ark of the Covenant was there, the tabernacle, and you know, not every single person were allowed to go in there. Only the most important people were allowed in there. And there was this massive curtain that stood between people and God's presence. And only certain people were allowed in that inner place on the other side of the curtain. So what Jesus did was he tore that curtain and enabled us to be able to have a relationship with him, experience his presence, to walk with his presence, walk with him and to have a relationship with him. And plus, he can save us and forgive our sins. And that is exactly what the scripture talks about. So that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is your Lord, if you believe in your heart that is Jesus Christ, and if you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, that means that you will be saved. And that's our memory verse for this month. So let's get into the joke of the week. Hey kids, it's your favorite joke of the week teacher, and I'm back with another video. So kids, what falls in winter but doesn't get hurt? No, yes, kids. Ha ha ha! How funny! You didn't see that one coming. Bye, kids. Kids, it's time for us to go into some worship. So make sure you move the couch, move the chair, put down that cool drink, and let's get ready to praise Jesus.
Anytime my heart turns from darkness to light Anytime temptation comes and someone stands to fight Anytime somebody lives to serve and not be served I know, I know, I know, I know God is on the move worship because I definitely did. Today we will be doing a really fun activity called Map to Strength. How this activity works, we're going to think of all the things that come to mind when we think of the word strength. Let's start with the letter S. When I think of the letter S, I think of Superman. The next letter is T. What do you think? I think of the word tiger because a tiger is big and strong. The next letter is R. I think of a robot. The next letter is an E. I think of an elephant. Have any of you guys seen an elephant? They are definitely big. The next letter is N. I think of nuts and bolts because they keep our things together. Can you think of what G can be? I definitely think of God. The following letter is T. Maybe something we've driven in? A truck. Last but not least is the letter H. What do you guys think of? I definitely think of the Holy Spirit because He is our comforter and gives us strength. Awesome kids! It's so amazing how we can help each other out to think of words that come to our mind when we think of the word strength. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the service. Bye! So kids, I hope you're excited to hear what the big idea is. So, the big idea is that we are stronger with Jesus. So let's get into the word. Hey everyone and welcome back to Jay's News Bulletin. If you are new here today, it is called Jesus' News Bulletin. Now today, we have a very special guest. So listeners and watchers, get ready because we're going to talk to Simon Peter. Hey Simon Peter, how are you doing? Hello. Hello, Andre. Oh, so good to be here, man. Thank you so much for having me. Awesome. It's so great to have you with us. 
Now, I know that Thomas could not be joining us today, but I want to hear from you. Our listeners and our viewers want to hear from you, Simon Peter, about what happened the day when Jesus himself went to heaven. Now, we want to have the full account as much as possible. Can you give us something, please? Yes, I certainly can, Yandre. It is true. Both Thomas and I were both there. Unfortunately, Thomas couldn't make it today as he's too busy spreading the word of God, the good news. It is true. We saw it all with our own eyes. Jesus asked us to meet at the top of the mountain of Galilee. We weren't sure what we were going to do there, but we knew we had to go. He, he was going to speak to us about something really, really important. He called it the Great Commission. Wow, that sounds absolutely very interesting. Can you tell us a little bit more? And our viewers and our listeners also want to know, what is the Great Commission? Jesus said that you must go and make disciples of all nations to baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey everything I've commanded you, and be sure that I'll be with you till the very end. It was crazy. Jesus told us exactly what we needed to do, and then all of a sudden, a cloud came and took him away. We watched until Jesus disappeared into heaven. Wow, that is amazing, Simon. Now, I want to know from you as well. I know that you guys, you, his disciples, walked with Jesus day in, day out, we heard accounts of where they did miracles, of where you guys saw what Jesus did. So you walked with him for almost three years. How did it feel for you when he left you guys, when he went up to heaven? Well, as you would expect, we were really, really close with Jesus. So when he left, I could, I'm sure you can imagine that we all felt a little bit sad. But then we remember that Jesus said that he'll always be with us and he's given us the Holy Spirit and he's given us the gift of the Holy Spirit to be our helper and our comforter. Wow, that is amazing, Simon. Thank you so much for sharing that with us and giving us such an accurate account because you guys were there with Jesus. That is amazing. Thank you so much. So, can we all pray together and all of our listeners here on the Jesus Bulletin and let's get ready. So, close your eyes. Jesus, thank you so much that we get to learn more about you. Thank you, Jesus, that even when you went to heaven, you gave us Holy Spirit to comfort us and to be with us and to lead us as well. Thank you, Jesus. We are never alone, just like Simon told us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, Simon Pete, for telling us that accurate account. And it was great having you with us. Thank you so much, Yanjo, for having me. Bye, kids. Thanks so much, boys and girls, for joining us for your first ever Jay's Bulletin News. Hashtag Jesus Bulletin News. We'll see you back next week. Bye. Hey friends, this is a very important section in today's service because as you heard in the Bible story, it's literally all about Jesus. And also kids, if you've never prayed the prayer and said, God, forgive me of my sins. Thank you that you saved me. Thank you that I'm part of your family. I give you my life. Come and live in my heart and use me. If you've never done that, kids, you're in for the greatest adventure of your life with God. So if you're sitting there and you would like to give your life to Jesus, why don't you pray this prayer after me and then we're going to celebrate with you and welcome you to the kingdom of God and the family of God. Jesus, will you forgive me of my sin? Thank you that you died on the cross for me because you love me. Thank you, Jesus, that you made a way for me to have a relationship with you. Jesus, I give you my life and I give you my heart. Will you come and use me to advance your kingdom? Thank you that I can have a relationship with you. And thank you for this awesome adventure that I can be on. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So kids, if you prayed that prayer today, I want to encourage you and your parents to let us know, either phone the church or let us know by contacting us by the email address at the bottom at kids at victorychurch.org.za. So kids, if you've given your life to Jesus today, well done and congratulations. Rachel, wasn't that such an amazing word about how we are stronger with Jesus? Yes, you know it was. And I know that I was encouraged and I hope that you kids were also all encouraged by today's word. Yep, kids, we hope that you have an amazing week ahead. See you next week, same time, same place. Bye! Bye.